Good afternoon. I'm Chief Robert Cochin with Tarpon Springs Police Department. Um, as you know, there's been a development in the Swartz murder investigation. I'm going to start off with a prepared statement, and then after that statement, we'll open up to your questions. On May 28, 2014, Dr. Stephen Swartz was brutally murdered inside his home at 1310 Belcher Drive. And since that day, detectives of the Tarpon Springs Police Department have been diligently working this case alongside investigators from the Pinellas Pasco State Attorney's Office, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office Forensic Laboratory, and the Pinellas County Medical Examiner's Office in building a case against those that perpetrated this heinous crime. I'm here today to announce a breakthrough in this murder investigation with the arrest of the following person. Anton Straga, who goes by the name of Leo. His date of birth is May 28, 1977. He resides in Palm Harbor, Florida. Anton Straga has been arrested and charged with murder in the first degree of Dr. Stephen Schwartz and is currently in the Pinellas County Jail. There will be information packets with the arrest affidavit and photos available at the end of this press conference. If you need that information, please get with Sergeant Edward Miller uh, in regards to these packages. Just as a reminder before we open this up to questions, this is still an active criminal investigation. I will be able to answer some of your questions. I may not be able to answer some other questions. Again, everything evolves around protecting the integrity of this criminal investigation. It's still active. We are still heavily investigating this case. Um, so with that in mind, I'll open up to any questions that you may have. Chief, I'm Jeff Patterson with WFLA. Well, yes, Jeff. The relationship is there with friends, and he was also hired to do miscellaneous work for the Swartzes. Um, based on the nature of the investigation and where we are at this point, I'm really not going to get into motive. I respect the question, but I'm going to have to, again, not really get into that at this point. But they had been known to each other for some time. They had a working relationship, perhaps? That is correct, yes. Are there any other suspects? Um, at this point, we're not ruling out anything. Um, this has been a major development. You build your case on what we have here. We have a very good team of investigators that for almost the last year have been really diligently working this case, building this case, relying on forensic evidence, interviews. They've done an excellent job. And again, with this breakthrough, we hope to develop more on this case. So we're not ruling out any, anything else, you know, as we move forward. When you say miscellaneous work, are we talking like handyman work around the house? Or what um, I, I would say that, that type of work, um, handyman work. Um, just different various jobs for the Swartzes, who's also their friend. How long have you been looking at uh, Mr. Straga? Um, based on the investigation, I'm not going to specifically get into that, but we've been looking, you know, we've been looking at several people for a long period of time. But again, you know, this investigation, when you look at the facts, when you look at the forensics, when you, when you work this thing, the investigation takes you where you need to go. Um, and in this case, you know, homicide investigations tend to be complex. Some are solved very quickly, some are never solved. Um, in this case, um, we were able to develop a significant breakthrough, and that's where we are right now. The day of the, the murder that Dr. Schwartz was discovered, um, there were records indicating that there was some sort of burglary that might have taken place that day. Can you talk at all about what, if at all, anything was stolen from the house that day, if Leo had anything to do with that? Um, at this point, I'm not going to get too much into that based on where we need to go with the investigation at this point. Would you characterize the breakthrough as a tip from someone or evidentiary trail that led you to this day? I would cat categorize it as excellent uh, investigative work, development of forensic evidence, development of case information um, that led to this arrest. Had he been at that house that day, um, just the day that this happened? Can you please can you please repeat the question? Yeah, sure. When when the murder happened, did your did your uh, investigation lead you to find out that he was at the home the day the murder happened? I mean, earlier that day or something, or that was was doing odd jobs around the house. Well, again, the timeline of the investigation, I'm not going to get too much into that, but all I can tell you is, and the best answer I can give you is, as we built this case, as we investigated this case, uh, he came into focus for us. Um, I don't have his criminal history before me. Um, 
we wouldn't we wouldn't necessarily give out that information, but it is you know it is available to the public, I believe, through FDLE or different various sites that you can get that information. Um, at this point, um, our detectives have been in constant contact with, you know, the victim's families and um, as for what was said to them regarding this arrest, I don't have that information available right now. The investigation has pretty much almost spanned a year at this point. I know you were talking a little bit about how each murder case is different. Can you talk at all about some of the challenges detectives face in trying to get this solved and work on this? Well, from the very beginning, this case was complex involved a lot of forensics, um, involved a lot of interviews, um, a lot of what I call digging in the trenches to, to gather information, to gather leads, um, to develop your forensic evidence. Um, you know, again, some murders are solved within 24 hours. Others are never solved. Um, there's really no timeline on any kind of murder investigation. They're all unique to themselves. But um, with this case, again, a lot of hard work went into it, and we were able to develop, uh, you know, information that led to the arrest of um, Mr. Straga. Can you say where he's been over the last year, give or take? Local. Any other questions? Can you talk at all about what he's told detectives at this point? Has he admitted to anything? Um, the, inter the interview is a part of the criminal investigation at this point, so we're not going to really you know, talk about what he said or what he didn't say in the interview. Um, as you know, he was arrested last night and interviewed yesterday. We tried to get the information out as quickly as possible. That's why we're holding the press conference today. Um, does this have anything at all to do with Dr. Schwartz's previous criminal history? Are you talking about the investigation back in 1961? Um, they're not related at all. Okay. You know that uh, these odd jobs or work around the house, have you been doing those jobs since the murder still at the house? Have you been back? Um, I, I don't have an answer for that. Um, I'm not sure on that question. I'd have to get back with you on that. Can you just say one more time, I'm sorry, sure. did, did, what was the date again that the murder happened? Uh, May 28th, 2014. Just, is it just a coincidence that, that he has the same birthday that the, the murder happened? Uh, you know, I'm not concerned with coincidences, I'm concerned with facts and, and where we are in the investigation, but if that's his birth, date of birth and it's the same as, you know, the date that it happened, then that's what it is. But it has nothing to do with the case.